Hey guys, how you doing? Ron's a nut here. Um, now I uh, going to go into opening up um, the LSI Mega Raid SAS 9260 8i uh, Raid Controller card. Um, this is a uh, supports six gigabyte per second. Uh, it's an eight port SAS or SATA uh, Raid adapter. There's only one card in this box. So let's see what we got uh, inside here. Uh, it has, of course, instructions, quick installation guide, and talks about um, controllers, jumper connectors, installing the card into your system, the supported RAID levels that uh, it has, and actually gives a good description of uh, each of the each of the RAID levels. Zero, one, five, six. Double zero, RAID 10, RAID 50, and RAID 60. And then there's also an uh, uh, instruction sheet here for um, replacing the brackets so you can go to a low profile bracket versus the one I guess that comes with it. So let's see, uh, here we have the uh, controller card itself and an anti static bag. I've got my wrist strap on, so, and I'm at a static workstation. I take static seriously. All right, here we go. Here's the card. Um, here's the port where the um, connectors got uh, installed into. There's a good, uh, better shot of it. Uh, a lot of stuff looks like uh, going on in this card. But all right. So we have the card out, and then we also have here, I bought the uh, battery backup, um, let's see, does it have a part number on here? It's the LSI00161, uh, actually it's called the Megarate LSI BBU07 kit. So that's actually the, uh, remember that's the model number on Newegg that I, that I ordered it against. Some important notice, the battery, uh, if you disassemble the battery itself, can cause a chemical burn. So handle it properly. And here we have battery backup, battery pack and backup board. That's the material safety sheet. Uh, so it talks about the hazardous contents and elements. Of course, that's what's inside of the battery. And we have here oh, a bigger instruction sheet than what you get with the controller. And this sucker is right here. You get some screws. And we get the, uh, the circuit card with the battery attached. And it is a rechargeable lithium ion battery, 3.7 volts DC, 1.4 amp AH, not sure of that one. Oh, I guess that's 1.4 amp hours and then 5.2 watt hours. So uh, that's the little guy. This is an expensive car. This is $164 for this little sucker here. That's about a third of the cost of the raid card itself so I think they're making some money on this guy but but you need it if you want to have the highest performance on this card because I think you, ha you have to have this from everything I read to support the right back cache especially if you lose um, power um, you don't want it to corrupt your raid and you have to rebuild everything from scratch so you know it's an investment and peace of mind I guess and also it supports um, with the right back cache, I believe it helps, so it certainly helps with um, throughput, so you get uh, the most out of the uh, processing, from what I understand. So I'll share with you benchmarks as I go through and do that, and now I'm going to get into uh, reading the instructions a little bit. So I need to RTFM, and then I'll uh, assemble this guy and show you how it goes together. And then after that, I will uh, install him into a system and fire them up and see if I can get uh, four OCZ 
uh, Vertex 3 120 gig drives going in a RAID 0. Oh, and I also almost forgot I uh, have two sets of these uh, breakout cables. Uh, each one of these plugs into the, uh, the two ports that are on the card and it feeds four of them. So I will actually only be using four of them, um, but I do have a set of cables for both. So sometime in the future, if I ever want to go to eight. Okay, the um, instructions uh, just point out where all the connectors and everything is, but in, to install the battery, you're going to be installing it. That's the connector point here, so it's going to be mounted over here. Uh, and the instructions just point out that uh, you know even after you install the battery, that uh, these connect these connector points up here are still accessible. Uh, and it just reminds you to take uh, all ESD precautions on this guy. So, um, so we have him. We have the uh, the battery here, and um, this guy is going to be mounted right on top of this guy and uh, sandwiched down. So. Um, you can see these three points will be mounted here and one here and then the top one has a hole for it but of course it's not because there's not going to be mounted because there is um, this connector um, right here. Okay, So what I'm going to do now is put them on here, flip it over and put the screws in. And it warns you not to over tighten. So you get them in there just nice and uh, snug. I just start them. And then uh, I'll tighten them up once I got them all going here. Alright, so. Here is the uh, LSI 9260 9260AI with the the battery pack, the uh, LSI BBU07 kit installed. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is um, assemble the uh, hard drives into um, into the uh, to the drive case that I have. And then I'll install it into the PC. And one of the things it's, it reminds you to always do when you first plug this card into your system, make sure all power is removed from the system. So I'm going to be disconnecting from the test bed the uh, AC power cord going to the uh, power supply. So it says that a number of times to be careful to do that. And also, again, reminds you to take static precautions. So, all right, I'll show you the next step. One thing that I uh, didn't take out of the box before was the, uh, the software disk uh, that has the drivers. Of course, I'll get the latest drivers off of the uh, LSI website, but there's more documentation. So although the card came with a sheet, um, which was the quick installation, there's more details here. So I'm going to read up on uh, configuring it. Uh, I know how to install it into the system, and uh, but once I get to that point, I don't know what to look for on the screen. So... Uh, I'll be looking at that uh, next, and then uh, I'll uh, show you installation. IC Dock MB994SP-4S. It's uh, for uh, SAS or SATA um, two and a half inch form factor drives, uh, and it'll fit four of them inside of here. And I got this because it's um, nice uh, heavy metal construction, and. Uh, the case I had before was a TJ11 and I didn't want to put anything plastic in there and so this guy was really nice but uh, now I'm getting a new case um, but uh, it's still going to be an aluminum case and uh, this looks pretty nice. It's a nice looking uh, box. Uh, it has a diagram on top that shows where um, yeah, oh, shows one of the, the ports in the back. I don't know if you can see that well enough there if it's too bright and too shiny um, but it's got a diagram showing you the, the back ports power and then the SATA connections for uh, for the four devices and uh, it's got a little latch 
and that takes the guy right out. So here's a little tray. I'll be mounting them right inside here. That's a nice little, nice quick release. And lock in. Hey, that's pretty nice. So anyway, simple little uh, drive carrier and uh, that uh, mounts into a uh, five and a quarter inch bay. And that's exactly how I'm going to use it. And I'm going to connect that, that up, install these four um, SSDs into this, and then this will be connected to um, um, the uh, the LSI 9260-8i RAID controller. And this is going to be my it's going to be a total of what 480 gig of Vertex 3 um, SSD. So I'll. Uh, get them installed and be hooking up the controller here shortly and I'll have links to that setup and testing if you're interested. Just wanted to show you real quick it's a very simple installation this is the uh, the opening latch here and if, when you want to install your two and a half inch drive it's big enough for uh, you know a regular two and a half inch hard drive your SSD you slide it in and align the um, Maybe it's easier when you have it have it open. You line up the uh, holes, and then they provide you screws as well. They're flathead screws, and you you mount them. You mount it into your uh, tray just like that. 